Let's start with the hymn number 18, 1, 8, God's Holy Gifts. Good morning, all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Bonaventure, uh, the Franciscan prior and became bishop, and also a good theologian, and basing everything on the revelation of God and the God's willingness to reveal to us. And the Gospel also speaks about that. Let us open our hearts. Lord, you speak to us that we may hear. Lord of mercy. We may know that Jesus is the word who reveals to us. Christ of mercy. Holy Spirit, open our heart and inspire us to hear you. Lord of mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop, Saint Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the order of his charity through Christ our Lord who lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I send him, and against a people under my wrath I order him to seize, plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like the mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Rather, it is in his heart to destroy, to make an end of nations, not a few. For he says, by my own power I have done, and by my wisdom, for I am shrewd. I have moved the boundaries of peoples. 
the treasures I have pillaged, and like a giant I have put down the enthroned. My hand has seized like a nest the riches of nations, as one takes eggs left alone. So I took all the earth. No one fluttered a wing or opened a mouth or chirped. Will the axe boast against him who hews with it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff him who is not wood. Therefore the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory, there will be kindling, like the kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down. Your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay. The fatherless they murder. The Lord will not abandon his people. And they say, the Lord sees not. The God of Jacob perceives not. Understand, you senseless ones among the people. And you fools, when will you be wise? Shall he who shaped the ear not hear, or he who formed the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise, he who teaches men knowledge? The Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice and all the upright of heart shall follow it. The Lord will not abandon his people. Alleluia! are you father lord of heaven and earth you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom alleluia 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 the lord be with you reading from the holy gospel according to matthew at that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learner, you have revealed them to the child alike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Word. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. And again, in another sort of reading, you know, Gospel reading, that totally goes what we usually or comfortably, conveniently, would like to understand in our human way. We think the learner, the learner, they know more things than the simple or the children. The children, they do not know much thing. And the learner, because they have gone through universities, they are elite, and they know what are the things of different aspects of life, so they are knowledgeable. But today the reading says, I thank you, Father. This is the words of Jesus, not mine. 
I thank you, Father, that you have hidden these things from the learned and the wise, and you have made known or revealed them to the childlike. Which means in God's um, uh, way of dealing with the people, the simple know more about the plain truth than the landlord and the wise. We can get simply confused. It's not simply that way. That the child in God's ways, the child or the simple no more than this. It's not, not simply that way. It comes in the later part of the reading in explanation differently. It comes, no one knows the father except through the son. Or except the son. And they accept the son, no one, um, no one knows the son except the father. Then comes the clue. And anyone to whom the son wishes to reveal him. Ah, what is that? Unless I reveal about myself, you know nothing of myself. You may pretend to make theories of me, understanding of me, an angle of my truth, unless and otherwise I reveal to anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal. Ah, the clue is there. I like the Italians when they use Kabido, right? <laughs> Arkavish, right. If you really take seriously what they say about Kavido and Kavish and translate it exactly in English and I by use in the same way, did you get it? Did you get it? That's what it means. Every now and then, or they say after five sentences, did you get it? You will get annoyed. What? Am I stupid? I understand. What do you say? Come on, go ahead. Go ahead, we will say. But when an Italian says Kavi, Kavijo, Kavi, no, we don't get a point because we take it as their form of speaking. No, there is a deeper truth to it. Kavi, though, unless you say that you have understood what I have said, I have no way of understanding that I have communicated myself enough and rightly. Right? So, the truth depends on the communication, the wishes to reveal to anyone the father wishes to, or the son wishes to reveal, the God wants to reveal. I want to be transparent. I want to tell you who I am. Please understand. But I may tell you thousand and one things you can understand in your own way. And that's where the learned are totally different from the simple. The simple, they open their heart and try to grasp what the other says. But the more I am learned, the more I am wise, more I know the different categories of the people, the more I know the theories of life, the philosophies of living, and the politics of how to get there, I become complicated to understand you. I become complicated. I cannot simply understand what you are telling. You may say thousand times, Kabi though, but I will never Kabi though. I will never, never enter into your truth. And that's why most of the time, God is not able to be understood. Because neither we are simply receiving it, because already when the God's word comes, we have so many ways of receiving it, so many wavelengths. Ah, this word, this wavelength. Okay, that's all. It cannot touch or penetrate or can touch me more than this little area that I have allowed this thought to come. I have already tuned my wavelength to receive what you are going to tell. I am so learned. I'm not simply opening and hearing or listening. Thank you, God. You have hidden this truth. That's it. God has hidden the truth, right? Hidden this truth. God cannot enter unless you allow it to enter. 
and God cannot be understood unless God reveals himself and go from your place unless you reveal who you are nobody knows who you are and unless I receive it in the way it is you want to be understood or in the way and I have tuned my wavelength accordingly or even before you come I have a different set of understanding of you then I will never understand we have lost the innocent smiles between us. We have lost the real meaning of touching each other. Because everybody lives in our own wise, learned world. And that's why you cannot enter the kingdom of God until you become like children, Jesus would say. A beautiful reading today. And so, once more it says, that in order to learn the truth about the one. It's not about the truth, whether the, um, the globe, I mean, whether the earth is round or flat. Not that kind of physical truth I'm talking. It is about the personal truth. The whole problem in the world is not the nature. We human beings, in the way of understanding each other, the way of communicating to each other, the way of influencing one from the other, and the way of interpreting one to the other. Oh, lot of it is our own way of this communication. And that's why the blessedness comes only in the willingness to communicate or reveal yourself. And the blessedness exists as long as the other one, the hearer, opens his heart like a simple person, a childlike person. I thank you, God, you have hidden this truth from the learned and revealed it to the simple. And no one knows the Son except those or to anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal it. And now let us pray. That God may open our hearts to receive the truth of people, our relationship, the way God has taught us today. Let us bring all that we need. For the church, May the Lord, in his abundant goodness, continue to nourish her through the gifts and fruits of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our world, may God bring peace to every nation, every home, and every heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who bur whose burdens seem too heavy to carry, May the Lord bring them hope, consolation, and rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord make us a refuge for the weary and a loving support to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died from the effects of the coronavirus, may God the Father welcome them into his eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the people of the parish for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. You must have heard about May already. She passed away, and uh, that her soul may rest in peace, and the family people may be strengthened and consoled, confirmed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
I have not heard anything from the family or not the funeral home about the wake or uh, the funeral mass when to have it. And uh, one thing I wanted to discuss with you, with the post on a Saturday, because Friday, Saturday we have also the first communion. And if it were to happen, nine o'clock mass. Any of the nine o'clock people will be a little disturbed because it is going to be a funeral mass. No, all right. If they ask for a uh, Saturday 9 a.m. mass, we can have, or else 9.45, right? Bless Lord, you Lord God of all creation, for three goodness, we have received this bread we offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for three of goodness, we have received this wine we offer. The fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let's pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar on the feast day of Blessed Bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by example of this holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are the Lord your glory, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you the thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and your precious Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, 
together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Mother, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostle, St. Thomas More, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours now, forever, and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus starts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, so that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all wishes, as we await the joyful hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share the peace of Christ. Peace to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say a word, and my soul shall be. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ's Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go in the peace of Christ. Amen. And Betty Kane, she's going for a procedure tomorrow, I think. So she requests your prayer also for tomorrow. Thank you. You know, Betty Kane, the cantor. Yeah. Now let's do the second verse. <clears throat> 